بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از پروفیسر ڈاکٹر رضوان جمیل قریشی ویلکم ٹو دا لاسٹ لیکچر آف ایڈوانسڈ آبجیکٹ انٹر سافٹ ویئر انجینئرنگ اینڈ چیپٹر نمبر فائیو از اباؤٹ کمپوننٹ بیسڈ ڈیولپمنٹ آرکیٹیکچرل ماڈلس آرکیٹیکچرل ماڈلس ہیو اے گریٹ امپورٹینس ریگارڈنگ دا کمیونیکیشن آف کمپوننٹس اینڈ دیر آر سیورل آرکیٹیکچرل ماڈلس دا موسٹ کامنلی یوزڈ آر ایکٹیو ایکس کوربا آر ایم آئی اینڈ ڈوم آئی ول ڈسکس دیم ون بائی ون ایکٹیو ایکس واٹ از ایکٹیو ایکس آرکیٹیکچر ایکٹیو ایکس آرکیٹیکچر از انٹروڈیوس بائی مائکروسافٹ فار ڈسٹریبیوٹیڈ کمپیوٹنگ فار ڈسٹریبیوٹیڈ ڈیولپمنٹ فار ڈسٹریبیوٹیڈ کمپوننٹس اینڈ اٹس این اٹیمپٹ ٹو انٹیگریٹ یور لوکل مشین ٹو ورلڈ وائڈ ویب ورلڈ وائڈ ویب دا انٹرنیٹ دا انٹرنیٹ ایکسٹرنیٹ ورلڈ وائڈ ویب از اے سروس سو یو کین ایکسیس دا ورلڈ وائڈ ڈاکومنٹس انٹروڈیوس بائی ٹیم برنرز لی اینڈ یو ہیو یو آر ایل یونیفارم اور یونیورسل ریسورس لوکیٹر انٹرنیٹ is a network of networks and internet is a protected network for a company in which nobody outside of the organization can in can access the inside network and the extranet is the also protected network what is the difference between internet and extranet in internet only authorized people can access from outside like bank users company employees organizational employees and extranet is also protected network in which nobody from outside of the organization can access inside network even the employees or the customers so files and remote documents or other documents on remote machines can be accessible by the user if you are using activex architecture activex technology so activex technology is a group of technologies and they are categorized into three types or categories activex documents activex components ایکٹیو ایکس کنٹرولس ایکٹیو ایکس کمپوننٹس اینڈ کنٹرولس آر کلیکٹیولی کارڈ ایز ایکٹیو ایکس سروس اور کام کمپوننٹس مکس آف ایکٹیو ایکس کمپوننٹس آر فردر ڈیوائڈیڈ ان ٹو تھری ٹائپس وٹ آر دوز کیٹیگریز اور وٹ آر دوز ٹائپس آف ایکٹیو ایکس کمپوننٹس دے آر کارڈ کام DCOM and OLE. What is COM? C for cat, O for ox, M for monkey. Am I correct? No. Then COM stands for component object model. Whereas DCOM, donkey, cat, ox, monkey. No. It's distributed component object model. and the third is ole ole stands for ox lion elephant no it's object linking and embedding so let's discuss them one by one the com dcom and ole technologies are called as activex components as i just introduced so com was introduced to develop local or standalone or desktop applications like visual basic program controls ms word through automation whereas dcom is a distributed version of com so it enables the com components run on remote machines and dcom is a way is a means to access or call remote components 
that resides over remote machines. ActiveX technology is an abstract technology and it hides the implementation detail from the programmer, from the user and it's totally transparent, it's abstracted. DCOM also have another feature, security. So it's an essential element for distributed applications or enterprise level applications. Communication is done through DCOM using the COM components. DCOM replace an older technology called remote automation. COM plus is an extension of COM and OLE is used to integrate one software with another software seamlessly like integrating MS Word with Excel or vice versa. Microsoft.net is the another technology introduced by Microsoft. It supports the ActiveX. So Microsoft components are stored with an extension of DLL, OCX and EXE. What is DLL? Donkey, line, link, no. Then so what? Dynamic link library. OCX, ActiveX, Object Control and EXE Executable Files. ActiveX components are registered in the System32 folder of Microsoft Windows. You can check System32 folder and you will find files with the extension of DLL, OCX, EXE. ActiveX components can be used with any tool that supports COM like ASP, VLC, VL Java, VL C++. That means component developed in one programming language can communicate with components of another programming language. So interoperability can be achieved and it is called interoperability when you when the components communicate with each other. COM technology helps the programmer to integrate tools developed by different vendors like Crystal Report. It can be integrated with Visual Basic, ASP, C Sharp, ASP.NET, VB.NET. So Word application or spreadsheet of one vendor can be accessible using the Microsoft components, using the ActiveX technology like calendar, word processor, image editor, card game. ActiveX control can be visible or invisible to the user like card game, ActiveX control are visible, whereas spell checker are invisible for the user. ActiveX controls are evolved from OLE controls and the concept is one component become host container and other is contained. So container and contained you can see containers that are used to ship items from one city to another city, one state to another state. Word document as an OLE container can host Excel spreadsheet or you can use Visual Studio.net or Visual Studio and you have a rich text box and you can integrate Microsoft Word or Excel within that rich text box. So the rich text box becomes container and Microsoft Word and Excel becomes contained. So container and contained. So ActiveX controls are improved upon OLE controls by providing distributed capabilities like you can download web page and you can have Adobe PDF, Word, Excel within the web page. You can access them. ActiveX controls have three types, user drawn controls, enhanced controls and aggregate controls. User drawn 
they are customized controls developed by programmers like you can have a button which has shape like a square but you can have star shape you can customize the command button or spell checker in arabic language or chinese or french enhance control add features to the existing control like mask control of visual basic or visual studio dot net aggregate controls contain one or more existing controls so aggregate control that contains a label and it has a sitting it has attachment that is the aggregate control Microsoft Corporation Sun Microsystem which is now purchased by merged by Oracle have provided the facility to 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 the programmer that you can develop your own components customize components and these components controls can be stored in the system 32 folder regs vr system space system 32 folder then component name dot dll regs vr system 32 space component name dot dll you can use for registering any customized control activex documents is a technology that is used to replace html or can be used with html activex documents allow the programmers to control the whole window of the browser instead like the double browser edge or chrome or firefox so you can have customized scroll bar tool bar menu bar using the activex documents and same concept container and contained activex documents are not stand alone applications they can exist in a container like edge or chrome connecting and connecting an activex document to its container is also known as sitting sitting is used as a, it plays a key role to determine the activex event behavior for example to implement its functionality korba common object request broker architecture it was introduced by a group card omg oh my god no it is object management group for distributed computing so how to define korba korba is used to divide the architecture of different programming languages developed by different vendors so that they can inter communicate with each other they can communicate with each other like you can communicate visual basic component with c c++ java with php perl kabul pascal and so on the language used for intercommunication is known as idl between the components of different programming languages but developed by different vendors idl stands for interface definition language the procedure used to call remote objects is known as rpc what is rpc remote procedure call and service that is used to communicate one component with another component is called orb object request broker and these components are stored in a repository they are registered in a repository so you have client application and you have server application there is an idl at the client side and there is an idl at the server side interface and orb object request broker is service to break the architecture of different programming languages and rpc is used to call remote procedure call is used to call data object method from one programming language application to another programming language application and the components that you want to call 
or that want to provide service are stored in a repository at the client side application and at the server side application in the operating system of the platform you are using. Ideal at the client side is called stub and ideal at the server side is called skeleton to differentiate between them. So stub and skeleton, stub at client side and skeleton at the server side application. Client side application, the application which need a service from another application, the application that provides a service becomes a server application. It can be data, it can be object, it can be method. That's the Kurba. Then you have RMI. RMI is introduced by Sun Microsystem and RMI is used for Java application because Java is free and Kurba has some limitation that you have to pay the licensing cost to use Kurba standards. The programmer needs to learn a new programming language, the ideal to write the client side stuff and the server side skeleton. So the software companies which are using Java, they complain to Sun Microsystem that we must have some architecture so we can call remote objects from Java application, one Java application to another Java application we can call, we can communicate. So RMI was introduced remote method invocation. It works like Kurva but only for Java to Java. So RMI is a package introduced by Sun Microsystem. But if you want to call components from Kabul, Pascal, Fortran, C, .NET, PHP, Perl, then you have to use Kurba. There was no other alternative. Again, you have to pay the licensing cost. You have need to write IDL. Then Sun Microsystem introduced Gini architecture, JNI. GNI stands for Java Native Interfaces. So RMI plus Gini enables the Java applications to call remote objects from another applications, other programming languages. So that is free. No need to pay the licensing cost of Kurba to OMG. Then XML has a schema architecture, which is the DOM. DOM stands for Document Object Model. So we have parent nodes and we have child nodes and DOM enables the programmers to write parent nodes like name is a parent, first name, first child node, middle name, second child node, last name, third child node and closed by a parent, the name like HTML the tag open first, closed last. The procedure used to call from remote application is the same like the Kurba, that is RPC, remote procedure call. And it used a protocol which is called SOAP. SOAP, Sabun, no. Simple object access protocol. It is a combination of HTTP and XML. And it's a standard introduced by commonly, common standard by different companies like Microsoft, Lotus, Sun Microsystem and so on. IBM is also part of that. So it's a common architecture and most widely used architecture. Thank you very much. Jazakallah khair. May Allah bless you. Assalamu alaikum.